Okay, so the equation you want to use is this one. Velocity a b equals velocity a, my, I'm sorry, a e minus velocity b e. And, and this subscript notation means velocity of a from the perspective of b, or relative to b, however you want to say it. <clears throat> so if there's a walkway here, and, and there's a woman just standing there, so that means she's not walking, she's just standing on the walkway, but the walkway is moving, so she is moving. So she's moving this way, how fast is she moving? V1. Yeah, the problem calls it V1. I'm gonna call it the velocity of the woman from the Earth's perspective. Okay. It equals V1. Does that make sense? And I'm using these notations here. The velocity of the woman from the Earth's perspective, because <clears throat> from the Earth's perspective, she's moving. Does, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, meanwhile you got a guy and he's walking. He's in a hurry, he's gonna miss his flight if he doesn't walk fast. So he's walking down the walkway and he's moving at a speed, it calls it V2, but then it tells us that it's a speed V2 relative to the walkway. Okay, so this is the speed of the man relative to the woman or the walkway, whichever way you want to look at it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now if you are standing on the if you're not if you're standing off, you're just sitting on the ground watching this thing happen, which one's moving faster? The man. Yeah, he's moving faster because he's walking and she's standing still. They're both moving, but he's moving faster. Does does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> The whole trick to doing these questions is realizing your three objects. You're always going to have three objects. In this case, your three objects are, uh, what did I, you've got your man, you've got your woman, and you've got the uh, earth. You said earth. In your three objects, earth is always going to be one of them. It's just, uh, in other physics classes, Earth isn't always the, the third object, but for this class, it's always going to be the Earth. So you, all you got to do is figure out your other two objects, okay? And I shouldn't have said BW, I should have said MW for man from the woman's perspective. Okay? Once you figure out your three objects, this one here is the tricky one because the equation wants the two moving objects and the one solid object. You need to know the two, the two moving objects. So uh, we can now rewrite this equation. Now that we know this one, we can rewrite the whole thing. So the velocity of the man from the woman's perspective is equal to velocity of the man from the Earth's perspective minus the velocity of the woman from the Earth's perspective. You see how I just, the A, goes here and here. The B goes here and here. And the Earth goes here and here. Do you see how that works? Yeah. I just put man everywhere there's an A and woman everywhere there's a B. Okay. It's just the two moving objects. Okay, does that make sense how this works? Yes, it does. And now that you have this equation, now you can just plug things in here, right? So for instance, how fast is the man moving from the Earth's perspective? Well, this is uh, V2. This is velocity of man from the Earth's perspective minus velocity of the woman from the Earth's perspective, that's V1. So how fast is the man moving from the Earth's perspective? That's gonna be V2 plus V1, because I just add this one to the other side. Okay. How are you doing? Does that kind of make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. Thank you. Um, and now this doesn't actually ask about those speeds. It asks about time, I believe. Wait. It doesn't. Yeah, it asks yeah. for time. How long does it take? So, how are you going to get how are you going to get time out of any, out of any of this? 
velocity equals distance over time. Exactly. So you'd substitute the distance for the L and time. Okay. Yep. Yep. And your V is either going to be your V2 plus V1. It depends on what it's asked for. If it asks for this, then it's going to be the difference. If it asks for this, it's going to be the sum. You, you see how you, which velocity is it asking about? Okay. Does that make sense? Kind of. Yeah, I think it does. You want me to work a little more out? I just, my brain's working very slowly right now. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, let, which, which V would I use to get the distance over time part? Would I just use the V ME? The man to okay, well, let's look at part A. Part A says, says, how long does it take the woman to travel the distance L? So uh, we're asked for time. Uh, we, need, we use the velocity equals distance over time equation. So we're going to solve this for T. So we're going to multiply both sides by T. And we're going to divide both sides by V. So that would give us time is distance over velocity. And the distance is L in this case. And it asks for how long does it take the woman to travel to the other end? Well, that's just the speed of the woman is V1. So the speed okay. in this case is going to be V1. OK. And then the next question asks, how long does it take the man to travel? So we're going to use the same equation, distance equals I'm sorry, timing equals distance over velocity. What's the distance going to be? L. Uh huh. And what's going to be the speed of the man? Uh, v, V2 plus V1. Yeah. From the man from the Earth's perspective is V2 plus V1. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Uh, web assign is real tooky about syntax, so be sure you get. If it says L, make sure it's a capital L. And if it wants V subscript 1, make sure you actually get it subscript. Stuff like that.